Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a large four pipe fan coil unit as controlled by BMS. This is a four pipe fan coil unit. I just previously worked on this with a BMS control expert. We worked side by side and what happened that he learned from his system is that the system tripped on the freestat. This is the freestat right here. I just have the cover off. It has a manual reset and this is a faulty control. So today's task is to replace this. Here's the main control panel. This is the BMS controller right here. The unit actually just satisfied and I heard the actuators close. So it'll be a good time to turn everything off. Turn the power. Let's see. Yep, lights went off over here too. So we're good to go. Let's go ahead and get started and remove that. I saw the pipe coming straight down. What I'm thinking is we need to take off this cover here. What's holding this? Quarter inch. Flip my bit. Okay, let's put that to the side. Let's get some screws in the bottom. Little Phillips. Alright, this is coming out now. Just they just made this whole crazy mess here. Ship that over to the side. <clears throat> Bring it outside a little space. There's no space here. All right, so here's the fan motor. Not bad. Is this whole plate moving? Look at this. Huh. All right, this is the free stat right here. The idea is gonna be to install it the exact same way. So we're gonna be climbing in here. Oh, wow. Look at all this. Oh man, all this stuff rotted away in here. <laughs> here we have the new controller. It's an exact replacement. What I want to do is start by taking out the old one. So our electric's coming from here. And then our sensor is going straight down here. It's extremely dirty here. All right, let's start with the electrical. It's very simple, this one. This is just two wires. So if we go below about 38 or 35 degrees, this will shut the system down. And depending on the system, some of them might have the hot water valve open or whatever it depends but pretty much it's a safety control to shut us down if we get too cold because this is four pipe system two pipes for heat and two pipes for chilled water at 32 degrees water freezes so if you want to prevent this from going any colder than 35 some people set it at 38 but i can see that this control comes set at 35 at the factory and this one is set the same so let's just go ahead and rip this thing apart. Let's take off that ring. Okay. There's the two wires. Just keep that there. there's two screws holding that and then from there we should be able to just pull this thing out all right all right we're loose from here let's go ahead start cutting this thing out inside all right, just another lovely day inside of an air conditioner. What I'm gonna do is just make a quick marking here, just so I know exactly where this went. Zigzags, and comes here. Zigzags, 
comes here zigzags one in the same place then comes here I also got a picture that should help and let's start ripping this thing out they're using just tie wraps to hold it together okay whoa that got in my eye all right chris take that pull pull on it all right keep going yeah let's get that out there you go keep going Go. Yep, and we're gonna have to put the new one in. <laughs> Reverse of this process. Here's the back of the new controller. Came with this little bracket, so I'm just gonna do a little something like that. And use the two little screws that it came with. From there, we can run in our new filler bulb through here and wire everything mounted. The whole nine. I'm gonna do is maybe wipe this down. This is just disgusting. This whole broomstick thing, though, like, why would they do this to run the wires? It looks so ugly. Where's that coming from? Maybe I could put that better because that's in the way of opening this cover. This really shouldn't be here. It's pretty ridiculous. I don't know whose idea was that, but whoever it was. Get rid of them. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Don't need a broom on top of the air conditioner. That doesn't help it. All right. Let me wipe this down a little. It's disgusting. All right. That looks ten times better cover off got the little back bracket on okay so this thing stretches out quite a bit so let's try to do this neatly let's keep going not to damage it as we go along so pretty much we're gonna have to stretch looks like we're gonna have to stretch this thing out all the way and just keep moving along a little tedious but it is what it is all right let's mount this in place so we can mount all that sensor stuff Okay, got one. Wow, well, it doesn't line up with the old one. Oh, wait. There we go. Cool. So that's in there. You want all of this really covered. You don't want this thing uh, sensing temperature anywhere else. All right, let's make our way inside. Got my tie wraps. Let's get in here and try not to crush anything. <laughs> Put it back the same exact way. So as I go along, I'm gonna try to straighten this out and get it as close as possible to the coil so I can really properly sense it. All right. Let's start with the first one.
tie wrap and pretty much we're just gonna keep repeating this process till we have it back exactly where it was before right, let's stick that one through okay and just keep moving forward make sure this is snug Go back the same way. Try to make it look nice at the same time, even though no one's gonna be here but us. All right, this goes next this way. Let's make sure that's tight now. Okay. And we're gonna keep moving along. Two thousand years later. All right, it's looking nice and even. Here, let's connect our wires. All right, lots of dust. Let's run that in. Put in our lock and nut. Same exact control, so we're gonna wire this same exact way as the last one. All right, put the two wires back, looks nice. It's already came pre-adjusted. Same one was set to the other one. So let's put the cover on. This little white switch is the manual reset. We wired it to the normally closed contacts. So while everything's cool, contacts are closed. But if we go below that temperature, 35 degrees, or if you reach 35 degrees, then this is gonna shut you down. And the BMS controllers are programmed in a way that I'm not exactly sure. I remember the controls guy mentioning something that he uh, rewrote the code on it. And what he did was Honestly, I don't know what he did. <laughs> he just did something to sequence it so it's safe in the meantime. So what I gotta do is after I install this, I gotta call that company and have them reinstate all that. What I would like to do is maybe uh, clear this hole with something. I don't want any cold air or anything because this is a, what I hear, it's an averaging sensor. So it takes the average across the whole coil. That's why this has to be evenly distributed but we got the wires on, it's properly adjusted. Everything is mounted. Pretty much we just gotta cover that hole, close the covers, start it up, call that company, let them know so they can do whatever they do on their part. And we're out of here. Not to get this crazy cover on. Oh, that's not gonna work. Gotta get it from that pipe. Okay, now. Okay. Thank you. Get one more. Nice. All right. Finally got that crazy cover on. Everything is cool. Let's turn the power on. All right. Get some clicks. And it's gonna have to be reset. I'm gonna have to call that company so they can do whatever they do with the coating, whatever he did on the previous visit. Got a couple lights there. No lights here. That indicates nothing is calling. It did satisfy when I turned it off, so that's cool. But yeah, so pretty much I'm gonna call that company, let them do what they do. 
let them know what I did. Oh! Fan just started. Got some lights coming on. And it turned off. But I can see now with those two little lights, those are my actuators. Should be. Oh no, that's just 24 volts to it. And then it modulates actually. But I think it's actually calling when that light is on. Whatever, it is what it is. Let me call them, but we're wrapping it up from here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.